okay? Um, what we're going to do is use those tests, mainly the ratio test, with some different types of series. Okay, power series and Taylor series. You probably guess what a Taylor series is? Yeah. It's like a Taylor, it's a Taylor polynomial with a series notation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, power series is the generalization. Taylor series is a specific example of a power series. Okay, so power series is a series with a variable in it. Okay. So you already have n, right? We're going to add an x in there, or some sort of variable. All right, so uh, it's going to be something like this. Again, yeah, power series is simply a series with a variable x in it. x is a real number, right? And is an integer. So x can be any number. Again, n is still an integer. So again, the, the question we've been asking about every series we've analyzed is, does the series converge or diverge, right? Real number is 0, 1, 2, 3, just the whole number. That's one. integer. The so real number is any decimal you can think of. Oh, correct. That's not imaginary. It's real. Okay, the thing about power series is they converge, they can converge or diverge. Dependent. on the value of x. Okay. So if I plug a 2 in there for x, the series might converge, whereas if I plug a 10 in, the series might diverge. Okay. So we have to determine where that diverges or converges. Yeah, so we're going to figure out what x values this converges for. Okay. This is the, the easier way to put it. So which values of x force convergence? That's our real big question. Okay. We will use the ratio test for it. Pretty much every time. Okay, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right? You see a power series or a Taylor series, you use a ratio test. Okay. Big idea. You okay with that? Okay, I'm going to use this one on the next slide. Okay. Where does a series converge? Two creates a ratio of one. Sure. Ratio of one is inconclusive. Inconclusive. All right. So what do you have to say about that? That's X right. has to be greater than that. Two. Wait, but can you say two? Because then that's at the tipping point between. It is, but two is not included. So you have to find where it converges and then find say that two. It's either less than two where it converges or greater than two. Where it yeah. Converges. So which one is it in this case? Less than two. Less than two. 
Yeah. Because the ratio is less than one. Yeah. Right? Okay, let's prove it. <laughs> I hate that phrase. So would we just use just some Yeah, you have the right idea. You're on the right track. Yeah. You got it. Okay, you just need to prove it. Okay, we use the ratio test. <laughs> okay, so the limit as n approaches infinity, x to the n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. Do you want me to write the fraction or the multiply? Multiply. So much more difficult than eyeballing. Yeah, but there are some that you can't eyeball. So we start with the easy ones. less than right uh, the ratio test and multiply the two times converges this is slowly coming back to me after a week of nothing <laughs> yes okay so what does this tell us about x x has to be less than two <laughs> So the variable x can be negative, right? It can be anything. So, so if, if it were a negative, then this is what a negative. you would call the radius of convergence. That seems odd. Yes. Yeah, that's it. You need to tag it. took the absolute value bars away. Has to be uh, greater than x. Negative mm -hmm. 2 less than or equal yeah. to x greater than 2 plus 7. Like that. That's yeah. called the interval of convergence. <laughs> That's where the negatives come in. So two, two slightly different things to describe convergence. One's a, called a radius. Why, why, um, and then... Why doesn't negative 3 half count? Because that's just negative 1 half. But it's still less than 1, isn't it? So anything in this interval, right? You have an interval? Is the whole thing. This is one way to think about it a little more geometrically. What's radius is half of the circle, oh my goodness. Right? The radius is half of diameter, mm -hmm. right? So the radius of convergence, you can kind of think of it in that manner. Okay. But why why yeah, do you get negative yeah. two? Uh, the absolute value is the distance from zero. But yeah, but so like two units still work. This is that way. just a rule of thumb? Two units this way. Because if you go e without the absolute value, let's say negative three halves, that's still less than one. Absolute value cannot be negative three halves. But if you took the, the absolute value away, well, we can't because we're doing the ratio test. Plug negative three halves in here. What does it output? Yeah, that's why. Three halves, oh, which okay. is less than two. Except for the limit of the absolute value, so we do go into negative, which would work in the normal case, it would become positive in the Yeah, got it. Okay. So, we're using the ratio test Thank to, you. to that show that. what x values force that series to converge. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's try a harder one. Let's do. 
I didn't eat ice cream. I had pudding. I'll tell you what, my stomach was a little bit turned over after eating all that. <laughs> like something there, something wasn't good. It was like crazy. Yeah, I something got me too, so I I'm understand. I'm not fine after, uh, after everything. Or did you eat? No, not that part. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see a series with an X in it. What test do you use? Oh, Wait, there's an X. Oh, there is. There is an X in it. You use the power series. It's a power series, right? Mm -hmm. What test do you use to analyze the power series? Ratio. Ratio test. Okay, just get it your melons. Wait, we have failed. It's always ratio. Always. Yeah. Be root. No, we're using the ratio test. Okay. So, again. Do we need to. Uh, it's absolute value, right? Yeah. Do I worry about the negatives? No, you can take no. them out. Now. We can just take them out now. Yeah. That's four to the power of them. Right? Yep. Okay, so don't worry about negatives because they'll just get they'll just cancel out because it's absolute value. Okay. So wherever there's an N, you just tap on the one pin there? Yep, N plus one, yeah. Mm -hmm. you just put in N plus one and what you Right, what's left over? Four to the. Okay, x minus five. Uh -huh. Right. The ends cancel out. Okay, four to the end cancels out, but we're left with a four on the bottom. And then we have n and n plus one. What does that limit equal? Why can't you cancel one? Wait, no. One forward? Because these are not exponents. We cancel them here because they're exponents. Remember the exponent rules. This is actually x minus 5 to the n times x minus 5 to the 1. Well, then there's addition you can. So these end up canceling. But not when they're not in an exponent. But the nice thing is, what is the limit of this? Because that approaches into one. 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 So the so limit x back is. Okay. Now we bring in our ratio test, right? Less than one. All right, we should test. Okay. Note um, on the last one, you get the radius of convergence. What do I do with this? You just multiply it. Okay, multiply the two over. So we have to do the same thing here. Oh. Well, you subtract the five after you multiply the four. But then you have a plus or minus issue. Uh -huh. You have your radius of convergence. Wait, that's it right there? It's four. Okay. Because that's the distance, right? Mm -hmm. Four units each side. You have to say x can be. Okay. So the radius of convergence is four because we have four units each side of that value, whatever x minus five is. How do I calculate the interval of convergence? You have to do the plus and minuses. Yeah. So you have to do one 
and nine. Add five. Okay. See the difference? Radius versus interval. Okay. Would we'll be negative? Negative one? No, negative four plus five. You told me to do it. I did it differently. <laughs> <laughs> I did just write what you said. Okay. test equals one. Given you have two negatives here, positive. always positive, right? So what you have here in effect is four to the n over four to the n times one over n. Those cancel. Harmonics use divergence. divergence. I thought. Okay, so at one. X is one, we diverge, so we're gonna leave this without one. Okay. Oh, inconclusive means it can be either or so we have to find I assume yeah. the so the ratio of test is inconclusive at one. So we have to figure out whether we diverge or converge at that spot. Now we have to do nine as well. Ooh. This is silly. Ooh. cancel. It's an alternating series. Right? Does it decrease to zero? Remember? That, uh, alternating series, positive terms decreasing to zero. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So does this convert or diverge? Converge. Alternating series test. So our interval of convergence is in fact one, one to nine. x plus center. So these are not just kind of dry ratio tests. You have to use other tests to prove that. At times, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Okay, the first problem 
control the endpoints when you're using merges. So I didn't subject to that. Okay, so yeah, a lot of work on these. You see a power series, you do the ratio test, then you have to test the endpoints. Okay, so end up testing these and it will give you your final endpoints. Mm. So for example, say that uh, the alternative series test said that beverage. So you can go to eight or just No, you leave it. So if this was if this diverged, just leave it less oh, than that. Yeah, because See, all we did was add an equal line there. Yep, okay. Like here, we didn't put equals one because of that diverged. Gotcha. Okay, so. Yeah, these are very common problems in AP exam because they force you to show the no ratio test and at least one or two others at the same time. FRQs yeah. are good. And you have to show all the work. Gross. Okay, and they're big money. They're big money problems. Okay, so. Um, that's all I've got. We will look at a few more on Tuesday. Okay. okay. Just you know, some more factorials, and then we'll start looking at expansions of different series, Taylor series expansions. Where's the, uh, where's the work is doing? So where's the, uh, what's it called? Write it down because I don't guarantee I'm putting it on classroom. Oh, it's not updated, and I. I might forget, so picture it. Is that five, six? Wins 10.6. Prelims one to four. Exercises one to three, five, nine, twelve, forty-five, forty-nine, fifty-five. Wins there a test on series and series? And we have 10 6, 10 7. It will be not next week, but the week after. How about um, no, today's Friday? This has always been the same. That sucks. Do it. Do it. Do it.